Merry Monday. Good Merry Monday. We're starting off with grocery haul. It's 10 o'clock on a Monday, but it's President's Day, so Aiden's not in school. I'm talking really fast because I just had a coffee. We have all of the pouches. I got some paper coupons sent to me in the mail from Fry's um, for like customers most bought stuff, and so obviously pouches were one of them. So I had Earth Bests, um, Beech Nut, and then Plum Organics. All of these are organic goodness. Um, all the different flavors, all the different varieties. Got some coupons for coffee. This is the Maxwell House. It says a light blend, but the flavor on the breakfast blend, this is probably one of my favorite coffees ever over Starbucks, over um, Newman's Best is like my all-time favorite, but this is a close, close second. Um, got Bailey some more raviolis because she loves them. Some baby spinach for some salads because mama's back on the train. Um, some tortillas for Aiden. His little snack bars because we were almost out. Um, I had a coupon for the Newman Organic Pizza. This one's really, really good. It does not taste like organic. You know how sometimes organic tastes like caca this does not taste like that um got myself two of these little meals because they're really simple really quick and i can eat them because it's literally just chicken and broccoli um some organic eggs because again they were on coupon um i'm really not that much of an organic snob i don't think but it seems like every time i do one of these it it seems like that. Um, I utilized my mom's phone number to get five more oatmeal because that's literally all Aiden eats. I got a coupon for a free blueberry, so I got that, and then they were on sale anyway, so I went ahead and picked up two more because, again, Aiden eats oatmeal every single day, and that's what he eats it with. Got some frozen broccoli. Bailey is digging the baby tomatoes. Some Brussels sprouts. I'm going to share a recipe with you this week. Hey, look, my onion just fell on the floor. Um, and then I got this little thing, even though I'm not really supposed to have carrots or corn, like it just sounded so good, edamame and broccoli. It's a little Asian medley from Bird's Eye. Last but not least, I got some Ziplocs because they were on coupon. Oh, and then I got some parchment paper because I need it for work. So we're gonna go to Kohl's with my mom. The kids are still in the car while I unloaded groceries. I just wanted to do this really quick and I'll talk to you later, bye. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry that that was such a crazy intro. Um, but welcome to Monday! We are out and about. We woke up early and took showers for unmentionable reasons. Both of the kids needed a shower, let's just say that. Um, and so my mom called me and was like, I needed to do some grocery shopping and then her and I had made plans to go to Kohl's and I said, oh my goodness, I'm getting ready to go grocery shopping. So we met up with her, we got a Starbucks, um, which is why I'm so hyper. And we did some grocery shopping, my uncle was there, so that was really cool. And the kids love seeing him, they both love him. So it's really nice to, for them to see him. It's my mom's brother. Um, and so, now we unloaded groceries obviously and got everybody situated i did the quickest makeup of my life i don't even know why i'm showing it to you because it's kind of bad but it's just something really quick i have a dr jart bb cream sample and so i squeezed it out and it scared me because you guys it was like kind of pinky it was a really weird color but once i put it on and rubbed it in i like powdered over it with my charlotte tilbury magic powder I did a little bit of concealer under my eyes. I did some bronzer, some blush, some highlight, and literally just like flicked through my brows. I didn't like shape them or anything. I didn't make a shape or anything. I literally just like flicked through them to let them be known. And I put some mascara on. Thinking back now, I really wish I would have done some inner corner highlight just to make me look a little bit brighter and awake. But if you, what? Um, I, it literally took me less than two minutes to do this face. I was like, blah, blah, blah. I was trying to be so fast. Um, so now we're going to go get Mimi, which is my mom. Um, and then we're going to go to Kohl's. I'm going to get some new shoes for this week. I am doing a what I wore in a week with Coco Floor, and I'm so excited about it. Um, it's going to be a really great week. Welcome to Monday. I still haven't got the vlog up. I just hit the upload when I got home. I completely forgot to do it this morning because I was up really late editing it last night. <laughs> Not really late, it was like 9.30, but that's late for me. So we're gonna go get Mimi. Who knows what shenanigans we'll get into. I also have to return something to Target, so. <laughs> Hi guys, so we are in my pantry. Um, we hung out at my parents' house for a little bit. Uh, I was just, oh, I'm so irritated with myself and I'm sure you guys are too, or maybe you don't care. Let me know, for real. Um, I constantly look in the viewfinder and so right now I'm like looking into the lens so it looks 
or feels maybe as if I'm looking at you so is it more irritating if I'm looking up like this because I want to make sure like I'm not blurry I'm not out of vision plus I want to make sure there's not anything in my teeth or on my face and so it's just habit for me to look at myself um, but let me know either way if it you guys care um but right now we're doing some organization in my pantry um this <laughs> i've done aiden's oatmeal which is about 10 boxes um i wanted it all out and then i could just every morning grab two little things of it and then i don't have to i can see how much i have and everything like that so that's what's in there. I still have this large tray. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. Because I want to put stuff in there that I can see. Like, I want to see if that makes sense. I still have these big old things. Um, I think I want to put these up in my med medicine cabinet because they're so skinny and small. Like, I don't really have a use for them down here. Like, I would love to put these upstairs. I, like, I can't think of something small enough that is going to help me with organization in here. You know what I mean? So, um, we have all of this to get through. That stupid cookie icing and sprinkles. Do you mind? Do you mind? Um, something that I don't think I showed you guys last week was I did put all of Kaya's food in there. That Aiden sees. Um, so I still have to do, uh, I need to organize, like... I just broke a vase. That sucks so bad. <sighs> um, I need to still hang this, which I think I might put right here. I'm not sure. But right now, I'm going to clean up all that glass. Ow, Aiden. There's glass in here, baby. We got owie. The only thing I got at Kohl's was a pair of shoes. I just got a regular pair of black and white vans. <gasps> Um, and I did that specifically for the lookbook this week, so I'm kind of excited about that. I have a, I have a pair of Vans, but they're like, a, they almost look like denim. Um, so I have some online shopping to do today. I want to get a couple new pairs of pants because my jeans don't fit me, and I know that makes no sense to get jeans while you're still losing weight, but I also <laughs> don't want to wear leggings every single day. So they're having a huge sale today. Like I said, it's President's Day. Um, that and Cover Effects is having a 20% off sale, and I use two products from them on the regular, the concealer and the powder. I have, like, I love them so much. And so that's how much you would get um, at Ulta or Sephora when they're having their good sale. So I'm almost out of my powder and it's a matter of time before the concealer's out because I use that stuff every single day. It's the best one that I've found so far that I like. So anyways, that's what I'm going to do. Um, I don't want to talk too much. I want to show more. So um, I'm going to work on my pantry, get Aiden fed. Bailey's laying down for a nap. Um, I'm going to drink another cup of coffee. <laughs> The amount of coffee that I have throughout the day is getting out of control, but what are you going to do? Man, I am so impressed with these, but I'm super bummed because they're out of stock. These are originally $90, which I don't think I would ever pay $90 for. That's literally $30 a basket. $30 for three? $10 a basket? You betcha. You know why? Because there are baskets that are 10 times flimsier and caca eater. That's not a word. Um, then these on uh, in Target's dollar spot. Like, look at how nice these are. It's like a metal top and it's like really nice seagrass. That's what it is. Man, I'm so bummed that these are sold out, you guys. I got two of them, and I don't even think I paid 33. I think I maybe paid less than that. But it says it's gonna be back in stock on March 4th, but they had like similar ones. That's a two set. I really liked the three set. Oh man, that really stinks. I don't think that I... Oh, what's in my cart? Oh, that's cute. Mm. Is it sold out? Act fast. Oh, man. 52% off. <gasps> I think I'm going to get this. Oh, my gosh. Remember I showed you guys this? Yeah, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. But I'm not getting this. Save for later. That was on sale when I was looking at it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you guys that I'm buying stuff right now. Free shipping. Yeah, this I wanted this for so long to put in Aiden's room for 
um, a bookshelf. Yeah, I'm totally gonna do it. Okay. Anyways, I just wanted to show you those because they're so stinking nice, but I'm so bummed that they're sold out. I was gonna like jump on Instagram and tell everyone because today's President's Day and so literally everyone's having a sale and I was like super excited to see like how much they were and they were sold out. So it doesn't make sense for me to show them, but I don't know why it makes sense to show you just because I share everything with you guys. I'll link them down below. Um, just in case and that way you guys can look to see maybe March 4th um, They'll have sales going on they do like different sales all the time on Wayfair like organization or home or kitchen or you know all kinds of stuff so <sighs> They're so pretty I'll show you my progress Can I just tell you how happy this makes me? It's not like Pinterest dreamy of you know like the order like um, you know ordering of them but this is all of Aiden's oatmeal this is all of Aiden's snacks and then on this side this is all Bailey's stuff so this is Bailey's like meals Bailey's little pouches and then Bailey's snacks so I still have literally 95% left I did we uh, sweep up all the glass, so, so that's good. <laughs> so I am going to stop for the day. It's nothing Pinterest worthy. I don't feel like um, it. I just went by size, honestly, you guys. Uh, it's not going to stay beautiful and, you know, anything like that. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. You know, I need to still cut off tags of, you know, this guy. Um, that guy down there has a tag. But all of my jars and bottles of things are in there. This is a big, huge one. So I put, like, my canned goods and my broth in there. This has, like, little snackies, um, stuff like that. Again, I already showed you guys all that. Um, so I'm hoping tomorrow I can get some of my baking stuff put together. Um, I want all of that to maybe be up here I'm hoping. I hope I can do all of my baking stuff up there. And so I want to get a baking, um, a spice rack. And when I say spice rack, I don't mean something like this. Like this will definitely go up there because it's nice and pretty. Um, but I want like a tiered one that goes up. You know what tiered means, sorry. Um, and then I also want to get a flour jar and a sugar jar, and I know exactly which ones I want. I'm going to go to Target and get the matching set to these. Um, I really, really want those. I... <laughs> I really do. So that's what, that's what I'm gonna get are the big huge jars um, that correspond and I can put those up there. And then I also have like all of my actual like baking stuff. So I have like, it's all over the place. I have baking powder, evaporated milk, baking soda. I have like sprinkles and icings and stuff down over there. Um, so I'm hoping if I can get everything up there, it's nice and organized, I can see everything. And then I actually have like all of this these two little shelves was spread out all over this entire thing and this entire thing. So putting it in these baskets and getting rid of all that cardboard has freed up so much room. So I have so many options of like what I can store in here, um, things like that. I need to get this little wreath hung up. So I am actually taking the rest of the day off. Um, I <laughs> told you guys last week in the vlog that literally just went up a couple hours ago. Why does it get so blue when I get over here? It's so weird. Um, I told you guys last week that like I had some mom guilt about like not spending time with my kids. And so instead of feeling guilty about it all the time, you know, on days like today where I don't really have anything going on, it's a Monday um, and Aiden didn't have school and I'm not going to do any housework or anything like that. Like today's a day where I can shut off the camera, shut off my phone and hang out with my kids for the last hour and a half that they're awake. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna watch the rest of Charlie Brown with Aiden. Bailey's still asleep. Before I sign off, look at all of the cardboard that is going in recycle. Like the 10 boxes of oatmeal, you guys. Like three boxes of bars, four boxes of gummies. Feels good, guys. Feels real good. Feels real good. Hi, guys. <clears throat> so it's late Tuesday night, um, and it's been a really long day. I went to my workout class today even though I really didn't feel like it, um, but I'm really glad that I did. It was a really small class and so it was a little bit more intimate. There's like a lot of sickness going around and man, this one chick, her poor baby son who's like I think about Bailey's age, a little bit older, 
think he turned one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He broke his leg. One girl's son has pink eye. Another girl's daughter has an ear infection. Like, it's just so much. There's so much sickness. And so, um, today was just like a really weird day. And everybody on Instagram was like, it's a full moon. And people are being crazy. I don't know how true that is or you know they say that it's scientifically proven i don't know about all that but my kids were crazy aiden freaking destroyed my huda palette and he's never done that i don't know why what possessed him he like dug out all of the beautiful pearly shimmers and rubbed it all over himself and my rug in there <laughs> i have no idea how i'm gonna clean that because it's like a flat rug it's not like a i don't know I have no idea and then Bailey is like getting so clumsy I don't know what is going on there but she fell at church on Sunday and had like this big old mark on her face today at the fit and faith class the lady said that she fell and bonked her head and then she fell when she got home today and has a big old knot right here on her head Oh man, that kid. I'm like, man, I'm gonna have to go get a helmet for her. She's just so clumsy. I don't know what's going on there. So anyways, um, I didn't really do anything. I have, if I have broccoli in my teeth, I'm sorry. I just ate a chicken and broccoli meal. Um, I didn't do anything of like substance today. I didn't do anything around the house really. I cleaned up a little bit. Um, I didn't, I like, don't feel like I spent time with the kids today, which is like the my new theme is you know spending as much time with them as possible i did some i like played with them in the loft a little bit um i sat in the living room with them for a little bit but i don't know i like literally am in such a fog today i don't even remember what i did i filmed a video i chit chat get ready with me but i really don't feel like i did anything of substance today except i did a bible study with women and worked out my bod <laughs> Um, so anyways, uh, yesterday my mom and I went to Target and so I thought I would share with you what I got because it's not anything. There was like some Target clearance, um, for Valentine's Day that I'm rolling at the of my out. And then, um, some coupons that were kind of fun. This is literally all I bought. You would be so proud of me. So the first thing I got, I think I sh don't know if I showed you or Instagram, but it's this really cute little like wreath and it has little pom-poms on it and little tassels in the same color. I'm like obsessed with pom-poms right now. I don't know why, but they're so stinking cute. And then it's like a little heart shape, obviously. Um, two more things I got on clearance are some paper plates just because they were super cute and they were like freaking 50 cents. Um, so I just thought that they were really, really cute. And then Soap and Glory was 20% off, so I got another bottle of Heal Genus and another bottle of Smoothie Star. Um, I don't know if you guys remember that uh, bottle of Nivea lotion that I got from Target because I was telling you one of my favorite Instagrammers uh, who's like bougie, bougie, bougie. Uh, she said it's like the best hydration. It is really good hydration, but I don't like the smell of it. So what I've been doing is like a one to two pump ratio. I do one pump of the Nivea because it is really good moisture. And then I do two pumps of this just because this, it takes a lot for moisture, but I love the scent of this. Um, it just goes by really, really quick. Like not, you have to do like five pumps for an arm, but it's my favorite scent of all time. Um, so I got that and then at Kohl's, I got a pair of shoes. Um, I just got a pair of Vans because it's literally one of the only brands you can still use a coupon on. So I got them for like 30 freaking bucks, dude. And they're just the classic black and whites, but a little known secret. So I'm usually like an eight to eight and a half in a women's size. I, my phone is blowing up. I fit into a size seven in youth um, and they're like, $15 cheaper, yeah, $44.99, but they were on sale for like $38 or something like that. Something crazy like that. So um, if you are a smaller foot, like this is the biggest it goes is a size 7. Definitely check out your youth because they have a lot of the same styles. Um, Kohl's was really weird, which I already talked to you guys about in that get ready with me. So tomorrow's Wednesday and a ton of people are coming over to the house tomorrow to work on some damages like 
I don't know if you guys noticed, but the trim on this cabinet completely fell off. Um, I have some cracked tiles. I have some cracked grout um, in my bathroom and some other stuff. So, a uh, worker is going to be here. My mom and dad are coming over to hang out. So, I'm not quite sure what we'll get into tomorrow. But I do plan on doing more stuff with you guys this week that is more exciting than this because this is not. Um, I was going to originally film and I started it yesterday, my what I wore in a week with Coco Floor, but I just don't feel good this week, like body wise. Jumping off of that bandwagon for almost two weeks like makes me feel really fat again. Um, and I was like feeling so good and confident and you know what I mean, just like on that journey. But being sick plus having my period at the same time, like it just literally made me lose my mind. Um, I was ordering from Postmates like three times, not in a day, but like I ordered pizza twice. I ordered Starbucks. I mean, I just went completely off track, you guys. So um, I'm definitely back on starting technically today. I had a little bit of cheat yesterday. I had a, two Starbucks, <laughs> which is literally like how many calories you're supposed to have in a day. I'm just keeping it real. I'm not gonna, you know, sit here and be like, oh yeah, you guys, like healthy life, blah, blah, blah. I do that when I post healthy meals. I put healthy lifestyle, but I was not living my healthy lifestyle the last almost two weeks, no joke. So um, today I'm definitely back on track and I have a big old bag of Dove chocolate sitting in front of me that I bought as a gift and I want to break in to it so bad my mom and I were talking about this like once you start eating bad again it's almost like they have additives in it no joke like sugar I was fine without sugar remember I was telling you guys like I'm just introducing carbs because your body's allowed to have it and burn it back off even Miss Beth was like you know um, some people start eating more carbs when they're keto to like jump start their body and to lose more weight because they hit like a plateau their body's just eating the same things and so I was like fine and then I had some sugar and it all went down from there. I mean, Bailey's birthday party, we had cakes, cupcakes, um, just, you know, all of the treats. And so, I'm telling you, like, I want this bag of chocolate so bad, but I'm not going to because of how I feel right now. I'm wearing a pair of jeans, and it, they're really tight. Not really tight, but they're tight enough to whereas like two weeks ago I was feeling like really good a week ago you know so anyways that's it for tonight I don't want to talk too much um and I will talk to you guys tomorrow do you want a toothbrush do you want a toothbrush do you do you do you let's go do it a mess you're a mess so <clears throat> I took down Aiden's picture and I'm gonna spray paint it why <clears throat> I had you guys vote and literally only one person was Jay was like yeah definitely do white it just looks too uneven I'm um, having two of the same color so I didn't want to do the main one because I love this color so much Ugh such a bummer but um i love the blue around andrew and i so i'm gonna spray paint aiden's white um, i'm using the rust-oleum universal so it's for wood plastic metal and it's gloss it's the same color that i did on the chairs because it was either gold or this so um, if i don't like the way the white looks i could always like splatter it with some gold so it's just a little bit different we'll see how it goes Right? Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Wednesday night. I haven't talked to you guys since this morning. Um, it was like right before everybody showed up. I had three different guys come to my house. I didn't show you the cracked tile in the living room, but I didn't notice it until my uncle started painting, and he actually pointed it out to me. I was like, whoa. And it goes like from the wall, like five tiles into the room. And so, um, the way it works, like when you do a new build, <clears throat> you're under warranty. And so you literally just like call up a number or I actually do mine online cause I hate talking to people, but then somebody calls me anyway to schedule everything. 
<laughs> um, anyways, and so you like put in, I, the way they explained it to me was to like do all of your stuff at once. And so like every month you make a list of things that are going on in the house and um, submit it all at once. And so we were having issues with our thermostat, we are having issues with the floor, and then we had issues with the cabinets. So the floor guy came out and he was like, well, you know, it's gonna keep doing it for a year, so do you just wanna wait for a year? I was like, no, no I do not. Um, I have kids running around, and the last thing I need is for them to, cause the thing is, is that it's spreading in the living room. And there was another area where there's two cracked tiles, which means that it's the foundation underneath is cracking the concrete. And so, he was like, you know, it's gonna keep happening. And I was like, cool, well then you're just gonna have to keep coming back, buddy. I didn't say it like that. And so he was like, really disappointed that he had to come, um, that he was gonna have to do it. <sighs> Fluffer. Anyway. And then the cabinet guy came and he was terrible. There's like trim that came off the top of the cabinet and there's like a space left in between the trim that came off and the trim that, oh man. The only guy that was good was the air conditioning guy. And uh, he fixed the issue that we were having. So anyways, after they all left, um, I had a headache and my mom came over and so I got to take my medicine and lay down and that was really cool and then I hung out with her for like three hours and we just chatted and I got some stuff done around the house which was cool um, and then she left as soon as my dad got over here which sounds kind of weird but um, he wanted to spend some time with Aiden which was really really cool um, I don't think I've ever talked really about you know because it's not anything that ne anybody needs to know about I guess that like Growing up, I don't really remember my dad being around a lot, and he worked a lot, and my brother was a handful. <laughs> and he wasn't mentally ill or anything like that. My brother was just a troubled kid. He's still very troubled. I don't really talk about him that much. But anyway, um, so I just don't remember my dad a lot growing up, and so it's really cool to see that he's, like, determined um, to spend time with the kids, you know what I mean? Like, he, you know, is still a very busy guy. He works for... Boeing Corporation and he just you know travels a lot and he's on calls and you know whatever and so it's just really cool that he like makes sh sure to come over and like when he can hang out with Aiden and he takes Aiden out by himself like he took him on uh, the quads there's only one uh, he took him out to the desert and rode on quads like a big kid you know and today he took him out in his little Jurassic Park Jeep from you know Christmas and played with him up in the lap so it was just really really a good day um overall and so he left at like six o'clock so I got like three hours with each parent today even though they're still together it was really odd um but my mom is getting sick which she's blaming Bailey for getting her sick which I think is hilarious to blame a one-year-old for getting sick but I'm in the bathroom because I'm gonna start painting which I'm really excited about it's super white and I want it to be super gray so I'm gonna test this baby out this is the master four inch premium pad edger so you're supposed to be able to you know put it in the, the little thing and go up the wall there's like guide wheels and everything I'm really excited about this it like turns different directions there are there are little wheels to like guide you along that's really cool so you know for sure that you're getting the best thing. So I'm just doing the same color that's in the rest of the house. Yes, it's seven o'clock at night, but it's a small little area. So I'm hoping I can at least do the, like the baseboards and all of the trim. We'll see. My skin, you guys. It, I've never been so motivated to be on track as what is going on with my skin. Like having acne on my neck. This guy popped up today. This one is like not going away. It's been there forever. So um, I'm gonna do a couple of before pics. So I'm gonna take down all my decor and things. And then I'm gonna do some after pics when I'm done. I'm trying to post more home decor. Um, so anyways, that's my story about that. See you later. Hi guys, it's Thursday and I feel much better, which is always the best. Um, listen. Uh, um, so Aiden's at school, Bailey is laying down. I'm hoping that she's asleep. I have some errands planned for this afternoon when Aiden gets home from school after he eats, of course. I wanna run to Costco and I really wanna run to Target to finish off the pantry, which is a project that we started. Um, I also started, or I showed you the painting last night, so I wanna finish that tonight. Um, I feel really good, which is really weird because I only had, I don't know why I did this, I only had like six hours of, 
I don't even think that many six hours of sleep maybe even less which you guys know one of the main triggers for me for migraines is sleep and I had a migraine yesterday and so I was on the endless scroll last night I made like a not new year's resolution but I really wanted to keep after Andrew left my bed a technology free zone like I wasn't going to lay on my phone at night because that is a perfect example of why you just endlessly are scrolling and I was up till 1230 just on Instagram on YouTube watching videos um, doing some research on some stuff uh, and planning some stuff out for this year uh, so I was so bummed that I did that to myself but I woke up and I felt okay which is really surprising because I didn't sleep good as well as I didn't get enough so I'm thanking God I'm not even like being sarcastic like you know how people like just at blase but like thank god no like i was literally like god thank you so much because i did have a migraine um on the cusp of one yesterday uh and so i also did like a ton of life admin yesterday which was so boring insurance and ugh, real life stuff sucks um so anyways like i said i have some plans this afternoon i want to go to target want to go to costco um and then i'm thinking depending on what time i get out of the house i really want to go to sprouts which is like my all natural store they're building one right by us and i cannot freaking wait because no matter which one i want to go to there's like one on both like i'm here in the middle there's one on each side and they're like equal amounts of distance away which is like about 35 40 minutes <laughs> my little town is growing which i'm really excited about um there's pros and cons it's getting like there's like some crime going on too because of that has anybody downloaded that next door neighbor app is that what it's called or neighbor or whatever man you should see some of the stuff that goes on it's crazy um so anyways i just made myself something to eat and i thought i would share with you um you guys remember from costco a while ago i bought some barbacoa beef or what is that technically is it pork i don't know um so you just heat it up in a saucepan which i've done with you guys before um and so i just melted some cheese with the barbacoa and then sliced up some spinach and some onion and so that's really really good stuff it's a little bit dark <laughs> um i had a super cute pony in because my hair was like all textured and cute but it was giving me a headache you guys look at how much my regrowth from having bailey is coming in it's like in tubes. um so i just got back from costco i was originally gonna go to target but bailey was not feeling the love she wanted to go to sleep so we came right home um i figured i could go any other day i do want to finish my pantry hopefully by this weekend um but I thought I would share with you what I got at Costco. It was raining, so I didn't want to do another parking lot one. And like I said, Bailey was a mess. This was the first thing that I got. I get this every single time I go. If you guys have tried cauliflower pizza and you're like, it's disgusting, you need this. And if they don't sell this at your Costco, I'm sorry. You know how Costco's, if you're a Costco shopper, each one has something different. So, but really good. Really good. Um, okay, so. Look, they gave me a big old corn dog box. Get out of my kitchen. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Listening skills, Kaya. You rule at them. <laughs> um, so Clorox wipes were on coupon. For five of them, it was like 10 bucks. Two bucks a friggin' thing is really, really good. Um, so I always put one of these. Um, they're always on Aiden's uh, wish list for his school. So I put one in like at least once a month since he's been going to school just because if they're wanting them and they're willing to use them to wipe down the classroom, I'm all about it. Prevent some of those germs. Right? Right? Okay, so that's the first thing. Next thing are trash bags. Um, these were also on coupon and I like these ones cause they smell divine, uh, grips the can. Um, and I was almost out. So this was perfect. Plus they stretch. I really, really like these ones. Ooh, pizza's ready. Okay. Next thing I got was this ombre throw. These were on sale for $8 and it's huge 60 by 70. And so I, of course <laughs> chose the gray. They didn't have any colors that I want. If they had like a pink one, I would have got it. The taupe one was kind of nice, but it was a little bit warm tone for like my house, my room, like my bedroom is cool tone. I'm transitioning this room into cool tone. I want to get rid of like those brown couches. So anyways, I just really, really like this. 
Um, I got Aiden some, uh, a pair of PJs, but this is for my mom's house. Um, for when, you know, Aiden's obviously easier for them to sleep over than Bailey. Um, even though Bailey sleeps through the night anyways, so I just got them a pair to have at their house and it's like a three piece of two pairs of uh, bottoms and a shirt. It's really cute. Um, I got Bailey an Easter dress. Look at how stinking cute it is. Oh my gosh. <sighs> and it's like layered with tulle and then another layer of like a really soft material and then the little bloomers are the same print which i think is kind of cute because a lot of the times the bloomers are like just a solid print so the fact that they're the same print as the dress i think is just so cute and there's a little bow on um easter's like at the end of april so i'm thinking by the time uh that happens it's gonna be a little bit toasty I got myself a pair of leggings from Puma. These were only 20 bucks, which is cheaper than the ones at Target and their name brand. And so these were called Moto leggings. And so you can see like it has like that Moto jacket look. Um, and then on the back of the leg is where your mesh is. And so they had some other colored ones, but I just feel like the Heather Gray is calling my name for everything lately. Um, I got myself a shirt as well. And it's this really cute, like, long sleeve button-up. I got a size large, and it's a little bit on the tight side, but, um, like I said, I'm losing a little bit of weight here and there. I did a pack of AA batteries, and they were on coupon! I got me and Andrew, Andrew and myself, um, new toothbrush heads for our toothbrush, so I'm going to split this up and send him um, some. I got a pack of green beans. I got a pack of yummy turkey breast, no nitrates or nitrate, nitrites, excuse me, um, no hormones. So uh, it's like two pounds, which will last me forever. I got a big, huge thing of broccoli. And to go on the broccoli, I got this spinach artichoke parmesan dip. Oh, baby. I imagine that you can heat it up. Yes, to serve heated, place in a microwave bowl, heat for two minutes. Dude, that would be so good. Um, I got a thing of asparagus. I got a thing of blueberries for the kiddos. Um, I got Aiden some new tortillas. These are his favorite tortillas. I don't think he cares about tortillas. So long. Yeah, we got some strawberries. And last but not least, Oh no, I have one more thing. Um, this is Aiden's favorite cheese. It's so affordable there. I mean, $10 seems like a lot, but literally for probably, I wanna say like this much, I'm not even exaggerating, is like six to $10 at the grocery store. Not even kidding. So for this big, huge thing for 10 bucks, not bad. Not bad at all. Baby, I'm making pizza. And then the last thing that I got to show you is a pack of pillows because I have been Oh, I can't even tell you. For the last week, I haven't been sleeping very well because of my um, pillow. My neck is just like tweaked. So, this is firm, but it's like really soft. And it's cotton, it's not down. So, really excited about that. Good morning! It's Friday, and we're on our way to Target. I told you yesterday that Bailey was just. She was not in the mood to go to Target. So it is 9.20 in the morning. We have a play date today at 11. So I'm gonna go just grab a couple of things. I say that. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do a come shop with me from Target because I just, I need to watch my time because like I said, we have a play date. So we'll see, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, over on Instagram, if you're not following me. Uh, so I have a return to make you guys saw last week what a joke those uh, little um, safety like cabinets holder or you know like locks that's the word I'm looking for they didn't work at all but I think it really is because of the shape of my knobs so um, I took advice from I can't remember who it was because I have 
extreme mommy brain. Uh, somebody said use hair ties and that was brilliant. And I don't know how I forgot that because we used those, you know those like non-crease ones, the like thick ribbon ones. We used all of those at my mom's house. Um, so I don't have a ton of those. I just have like the regular black. Anyways, I'll see what I'm going to do. If I'm going to do an Instagram, come shop with me or if I'll show you guys some stuff. Let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing your guys' feedback of if you would like to see more interactive shopping. Um, cause I usually do like the come shop with me's on Instagram and then the like hauls on here. I show you like what I bought, but let me know. Um, and happy Friday. Well, when you're watching this, it's Monday, but it's Friday my time. Whoop, whoop. Hi guys. Hello. The barometric pressure is messing with me, I think. I have so much pressure, like, in my nose cavity, my nasal cavity. Oh, man. It's not like a headache. It's just, like, uncomfortable. I feel like, ugh. I just want everything to pop and release. So, um, we had the best play date today with, um... <laughs> The girl that I always talk about that I'm going to force to be my best friend. Today, like, even proved it further. She, like, is Christian and, you know, we obviously go to the same church and stuff like that. But she's also, like, super chill. Like, watches the same shows that I do. You know, she's not, like... I hate to use the word uptight, like Christians are uptight. But just, you know, sometimes you feel uncomfortable around people that are a little bit deeper in their faith than you because you're worried like at least for me I'm worried I'm gonna say the wrong thing and be offensive or like you know if I accidentally curse or you know something like that like I just get very like self-conscious about myself and like how I talk and how I act like if it's ever gonna be like offensive or inappropriate and it shouldn't be that way it's from me nobody's ever like well I'm not gonna say nobody's ever made me feel that way but not you know anyways and she just doesn't she's super easy to talk to we have like a lot of the same things in common so it's just really cool and she's like the most helpful person in the world she you know is all about uh, she keeps telling me like if you ever need a couple hours to yourself like I'll take the kids you know and we don't really know each other that well so for her to be like I'll watch your kids is pretty freaking cool um anyways so right now I'm packing up orders I'm really excited except for I ruined a shirt something happened to like my heat press and it had like something black on it and I think I actually just realized what it was remember I was telling you guys I was having issues with some of my um totes melting i think it was part of a strap left over on my heat press so I'm really bummed i ruined one of miss j's shirts so anyways um i've already talked to her about it and everything but i'm going to pack them all up i have three going out today uh just for anybody who's curious the way it works for me um i was I don't know if I've ever explained it thoroughly for Cocoa Floor. Like, the reason why it takes so long is because um, if I were doing, like, a large order, I would order it right then and there. But when I get, like, you know, right now I'm getting maybe three to five orders a week, which isn't a lot, but it's more than I, you know... <laughs> I'm very thankful for those. Um, so with that, like, you know, the shirts don't cost that much. The So... I have to pay for shipping no matter what and so instead of doing it like every instead of paying for shipping three to five times I pay for it once a week so I order all of my stuff on Friday um, and then it gets to me usually by like Wednesday Thursday it got to me late today um, or this week I usually get it like I said Wednesday I didn't get it till Friday today because we had Arizona a freak snowstorm um, so obviously all that depends so because I got everything today like I pressed it today I usually press over the weekend and I'll send it out first thing Monday but I pressed everything already I'm gonna package everything tonight and send it off first thing tomorrow and I'm also gonna upgrade everyone to priority shipping uh, for free just because it's gonna take way too long it's been way way too long so anyways um, I thought I would share with you like a little behind the scenes let me turn on the light of uh, how I ship everything so here is one order going out um, it's like three t-shirts somebody ordered the hey girl um, coffee lover. I'm not going to say who it was just because I don't want anybody to be put on the spot. Um, and the I like pig butts and I cannot lie. So I will wrap each one of those in the gorgeous tissue paper that I have picked out for Cocoa Floor. Um, I will seal each one with a little Cocoa Floor sticker. And then if it's a large order, it goes in a box. Um, like this. 
And then I will bundle it with twine and also seal that with like a different sticker. So I have like some thank you stickers just saying, you know, thank you and whatever. And then uh, it goes in the box with, I have like promo items. Uh, just, you know, for anyone who's curious, I don't know if I've ever shown this, but if I have, sorry. Um, so right now I have magnets. I did order some new promo that I'm really excited about. Uh, and then I put a business card in there, even if it's the same person. I just would rather send them multiples. That way they have some on hand. If they're ever out and about, I'm hoping that they'll... I mean, most of the people that I have ordered are, like, sincere friends of mine. So, I'm sure they would, if anyone complimented on, on their shirt, they'd be like, oh, it's from here. Um, and then I have a taking care of your tea card. Um, so, yeah, that's all that goes in the box. And then I have big, huge stickers, these ones, with my website and stuff on them. And those go on the outside of the box. So, um, I'll show you what it looks like. I usually have my phone in here and, like, watch... Instagram stories or people's videos if I can and so yeah I'll show you what it looks like that is a large package so I got to confuse with the stickers the big cocoa floor um, with just the logo goes on the outside and then we have the little thank you ones I forgot about uh, on the individual packages so that goes in the box another thing that I like to do is take the customer's name and write thank you like their name so they know that like not that I would uh, be as busy as I couldn't pack it myself one day, hopefully. Um, but I want to thank her myself. And then also, um, I made these when I was just doing vinyl. So you do not wash them in cool water. You actually wash them in warm. And, um, so yeah, I'm going to write a little thank you. And the user, or, um, the woman who ordered, it doesn't go by this on YouTube. So nobody's going to know who she is, but, um, I love her so so much she's definitely one of my faves love her love you Karen so that is how I put a little order together and then on her shipping label I will put one of the like you rule thank you you're a gem whatever different stickers that I have so when I have a smaller order, if somebody orders just like one shirt, it's packed completely different. So I still fold it the same, but I put the taking care of your card um, on the inside and fold it up with a sticker. Just like that. And then I take it, a magnet and a business card. We come over here and we slide it into the envelope like that. And then I put the giant sticker on the back of the package. And then, like I said, I put a little, hey, thanks, or your gem, whatever I want on there. I do have a variety of shipping envelopes, depending on, like, what kind of style or vibe I'm getting from the customer, like, what they ordered. Um, I'll do, like, a chic palm leaf, or I'll do, like, a really feminine floral. And then for the kids' collection, I have this super cute little woodland characters that, ah, oh, it's just the cutest thing in the world. Hello, um, it's like nine o'clock on Friday, <clears throat> same day. And I wanted to share a couple things with you before I sign off. We are in the pantry and I got a couple things that we're gonna use to finish it off next week. So we did get a spice rack. And then I got two glass jars. Um, I know earlier, ooh, I know earlier in the week I was telling you I wanted to get those white ones with like kind of the Ray Dunn writing on them that Target has, but it was like $14.99 for one and $16.99 for the other one. So that's like $30 for two jars, which, you know, for a pantry, just for a bag of sugar and flour to sit in, I just feel like that's a little bit crazy. This was like, I think $4.99 and this one was $6.99. So that's like a $20 difference. <laughs> um, this thing I think was $12.99 and is literally all the rage. People use it for spices. They're using it for cans, like putting your, 
where I have my can so you can see all of it. So um, we'll do that next week in next week's vlog. I got Bailey this cute, cute, cute hoodie. Um, it's like velvet lined on the inside. And then it has like a little velvet ruffle on the sleeve. These are little rainbow pockets. Look, and they're actual pockets. So uh, this was on clearance, I think, for five bucks. Oh, six, excuse me. Um, but she doesn't have a ton of sweaters, and it's been raining and cold, and it's going to be that way for a little bit here in uh, Phoenix. Also picked up this cute little pink tub um, to put my Valentine's Day stuff in, which I'll buckle up, buckle up, button up, whatever you want to say. They had this and they had gray ones. Uh, they had this size and then the smaller ones that like shoes fit into. So I uh, just wanted to show you that. I can't remember what else I got. I didn't get any clothing. I don't think I got any home decor. I got a lot of baby stuff. I got a ton of pouches because they were on sale. Anyways, I have an order from American Eagle. I got two things. I got a pair of jeans and a pair of joggers. Ooh, these are so comfy. Yes, and they're like the nice tapered and cinched ankle. Although, I don't know how uh, long they're going to be because I'm so short. Like, you know, some of these Instagrammers that I see wearing these, they look so cute because they come up a little bit higher off of their ankle, but they're like six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> but they just looked really, really comfy. American Eagle was having a really, oh, they're really soft on the inside. Um, American Eagle was having a really great sale uh, over President's Day. Their shipping was actually really fast. It came the same week that I ordered it. I think I ordered it on Monday. Today's Friday, so. Um, I got a pair of freaking jeans that everybody keeps talking about. Um, I fell victim. I can't wait to put these on. Again, they look so long. Um, so they're like kind of distressed at the bottom and they're like a light acid wash. These are really cute. You know who, uh, the Rambling Redhead talks about these all the time. They're her favorite jeans of all time. And they're just the AE Next Level Stretch Jigging Crop. Um, I'll try and link them down below if I remember. Um, Kara's Corner, who I mentioned in... My Amazon haul, I want to say. Uh, oh my gosh, I have so much sinus pressure. I feel like I'm going to die. Um, I'm going to go take a hot, hot shower and try and loosen some of this up so I can sleep. Um, I don't know. I woke up and it's like all along my jaw. It's like making my teeth hurt. It's like all behind my eye. It's all like right in here. And I know the different pressure points because like my mom is a massage therapist and taught it to me. I don't know what I'm even talking about right now. Um, I'm really tired. So I am going to go take a shower and go to bed. Uh, but I just wanted to end it on a good note. It was a great, great week. This week was great. Um, we had lots of visitors. We got to hang out with my mom and dad. Gosh, Wednesday, I think I hung out with my mom on Wednesday. We went to Kohl's and did some stuff, which was really fun. And we went over there and had dinner, um, lunch. Tuesday, I had my Fit and Faith class, and that was really good. That is it for me and the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too boring. That's literally what I say every single time I end these. I love you guys so much. You guys are just good eggs, as my British folks would say. Good eggs. Um, you're, you're just the sweetest and you know, I've talked to so many of you individually now that I just, I don't know, putting names and faces and, you know, personalities and, you know, I was talking to one of you tonight and you're like, I don't even like makeup and I watch you. So don't worry. I was like, wow, that just like warmed my little heart. Cause it's, I was kind of telling her, but I was worried it came off wrong. Like as a creator, you're just constantly worrying about like your content, if it's good for the people that you have, if it's good for, you know, people coming over, if it's entertaining and whatsoever. But I mean, it has to be somewhat because there's a little bit of views on it and that's okay with me. I, okay, I'm happy with that. So I love you guys so much. I thank you for watching. If you're new, I don't know if you made it this far, but my name is Brittany Coco. You're watching the Coco channel. Please subscribe if you're not already. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye!